Welcome to the last video of topic 11. Have you been able to guess where I am in this picture? Um, I studied abroad in Nairobi in Kenya and it's one of the, I think it's the only metropolitan area in, in Africa that's adjacent to a wildlife preserve. So you get these really cool pictures of elephants, giraffes, obviously zebras, right, with the city in the background, which is beautiful. All right, so um, the last thing that we want to discuss in topic 11 is the difference between economic profit and accounting profit. So when I say in long run competition, profit is equal to zero, a lot of you are like, what? Right, we know that firms make money even in competitive markets. What does it mean for profit to be equal to zero? And here it's important to remember that economists think about things much differently than in real life. <laughs> um, so economic profit is actually a very different concept than when we're talking about accounting profit. So normally when you say profit is equal to zero in terms of accounting profit, you mean that all the money you bring in is equal to your bills and you're not making any money at all. That's actually not what we mean when we say economic profit is equal to zero because in economics, we always think about opportunity cost. Opportunity cost is an important part of any cost calculation in economics. And so that is taken into account when we're talking about um, economic profit. So you can see here, you've got an equation that says economic profit equal to your total revenue minus explicit costs, that's like your bills, um, minus your implicit costs, right? So when we're talking about total costs, we're including both your explicit costs, your rent, your, um, production costs, right? But we're also including the implicit costs. That's the opportunity cost of running your business. That's not going to be included in accounting profit, right? Accounting profit is just going to look at all your revenue minus all of your bills, okay? And so when we say economic profit is equal to zero, Usually accounting profits are still positive in that situation because there is some opportunity cost of running your business. So economic profit equals zero does not mean that firms are earning zero accounting profits. Sorry about that. Um, what it means is that Accounting profits are equal to your opportunity costs, right? Or your implicit costs. Accounting profits are equal to your opportunity costs. That means that you could not do better by switching industries. No one when economic profits are equal to zero, it means that no one can do better by switching industries. All right, and we can see that if we think about what, what happens if uh, your economic profits are positive. What does that mean? If economic profits are positive, it means that revenue in this industry, okay, or your accounting profit in this industry is higher than in other industries. And in that case, more firms are going to want to shift into this industry. If, on the other hand, profit were negative, economic profit were negative, it would mean that firms in other industries we're making more money than in this industry, right? The opportunity cost is higher than your accounting profit. And in that case, firms of course would exit this industry and shift into other industries. All right, so this is a really important distinction between economic profits and accounting profits. But again, it's not the way you're used to thinking about profit. And I find that students get confused about this. So what I want us to do now is to look through this example 
um, just a short article here from Planet Money um, about uh, somebody who's running a magazine. And we're going to talk about this in the context of um, accounting profit and economic profit. So I want you to pause the video, read the article, and answer these questions that I have here for you, okay, about economic profit and accounting profit. And then when we come back, I will go through the answers. All right, have you read the article? Do that. <laughs> I'm assuming that now you have read the article, okay? You have answered the questions as best you can, and I wanna to talk to you a little bit about these answers. So, in this article, we have Marco Arment, and he has started an online magazine, which seems to be pretty popular. It seems to be earning revenue, probably more revenue than I would make if I started a magazine. Um, and so, it seems to be doing all right. Um, let's go ahead and think about what accounting profit is here for the magazine. So, he's got um revenues of about $35,000 a month. Okay, so profit is equal to your total revenue minus your total cost. So, let's see, we've got $30,000 a month in $35,000 a month in revenue. And the cost of putting out the magazine is $20,000 a month. So that leaves you with $15,000 per month in accounting profit. It's an annual profit of $180,000. It's pretty good, okay? It's more than I make, right? So um, this seems like a pretty good deal. He's running this magazine, right? He's making $180,000 a year in profit. Uh, everything seems fine. What types of costs are we including here, right? We're including only explicit costs and they do detail some of those costs, right? They have to pay uh, writers and photographers. Right, to, to actually produce the magazine, which is then published online. And so the actual like production costs are mostly in producing the magazine and then um, people can read it for free, right? So we've got mostly payroll costs associated with producing the magazine. What's not included in this calculation of cost and the calculation of accounting profit is the opportunity cost. Of running the magazine. And that could include um, what Marco or Mint could do for a job if he wasn't running the magazine. Okay, and he also lists some like non-monetary opportunity costs in this discussion, right? He talks about how when he puts out this magazine, um, he has to not take any vacation, right? There's always another issue to be working on. And so, um, you know, the opportunity cost here could include, you know, another job, how much income he would earn at a different job. And um, the fact that, you know, he could spend his time also just doing things that he enjoys, for example, taking vacation. So it turns out that um, after this article was published, um, shortly after the article was published, he stopped running the magazine, right? Exited the market. So what does that tell you about the size of the opportunity costs? Well, it tells me, right? I know that economic profit was less than zero. Because his firm exited the market. Um, and so that tells me that these opportunity costs were greater than 
his accounting profit, which of course was $180,000 a year. So the opportunity costs in this situation were sizable, right? Causing him to leave the market, even though his accounting profit was $180,000 a year. All right, I hope that this helps you understand the distinction between economic profit and accounting profit. Um, this is the last video for topic 11. You should be able to do all of your homework for topics 10 and 11. Um, that's gonna be due on Friday, March 27th at 11 p.m. So hopefully you'll get an early start on that. You can ask questions um, when you have them. And I will see you next week for topic 12.